Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and today I am going to talk about the newly rolled out feature in Power Apps which is named formula. The first question arises in our mind that what do we mean by named formula and how it is useful? How it is different from regular set and update context variable in Power Apps? We will talk about A to Z in detail throughout this video. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, please do follow me. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, let me talk about the concept of named formula. Named formula is a popular concept in the Excel. Let's say for an example, here I have this Excel spreadsheet where I have different student and their mathematics and science marks. Now over here in the Excel, you can see that this is the table and the table name is design as student marks. Now let's say if I want the average of mathematics score for the entire class, then I can simply use a formula is equal to average in the bracket I can directly use the name of the table which I define which is student marks which is populated in the suggestion and inside that we can just need to define the column which is mathematics marks and whenever I am hit enter it is giving me the average of the student marks now this is on the fly let's say i'm changing any value for rats mark over here as 78 then this value is automatically changed here so this is how the name manager is working in excel similar like it is working for the different cells as well let's say for an example here i just want to calculate the interest of a specific amount then i am defining some sort of interest rate let's say i am just entering here the interest rate as 0.06 and what I will do is I will just mark this cell as a name cell so let the so here I am just providing the name of this particular excel cell as rate of interest ROI okay and I am done with it so let's say for an example now I want to calculate the interest of a specific amount then what I will do is is equal to 50,000 multiply by rate of interest is my ROI then I will simply use my name range ROI multiply by here okay so it is simply calculating that thing for me let's say for an example if I'm changing the value over here it automatically reflect this value let's say for an example I'm cutting this cell from here and pasting this cell somewhere else still I am able to access this variable anywhere into my workspace so it is not a cell dependent it is now referenced using that name and if you just wanted to see your name formula you just simply need to go to the formula section and over here there is an option called name manager where you can see all the name references that you have defined over here so this is our student marks table return of investment this is one of the cell we just defined as a name right so this is how this concept is working in excel now the same concept is coming to the power apps now let's see how we can leverage that capability so most of the time right now with the traditional approach what we are doing is let's say if we need some sort of uh, global thing that, that is to be accessible anywhere on the app we are defining the set variables and those set variable most of the time we are defining on the app start let's say i need the user name then what i'm doing here is i'm just defining set variable user and then i'm just providing user dot email or name whatever property i need i'm just defining like this similar way let's say for an example if we want to provide some sort of color to my button then also we are just defining some sort of button colors as a theme part uh, and we are just defining like colors dot yellow now let me explain you what is the difference between named formula and the set variable so let's say for an example if i define this variable set variable it will execute only when app is started now let's say for an example on the fly you want to change some value to your set variable you need to again somewhere define that set variable again to replace that value now this name formula is something which is unmutable which means that you can define on one time in the app and let's say for an example if any of the dependencies are updated in the background it automatically reflect the latest value wherever you have used that particular formula similar like in excel 
Let me explain you this with the help of example so you will get a better idea. So first of all to get started with the name formula you need to activate one preview feature. For that you need to go to the setting, go to the upcoming feature and go to the experimental feature. Over there you will be finding an option name formulas. Make sure that this is turned on. Once you turn it on, what happen here is you need to select your app and over here you will be finding an option formulas. So this is the single place where you can define all your formulas in the app. So you need to click on there. It will open a space to define all the formulas for your app. Now let's say for an example here I need user's email address. Then I can use user email and then it's a syntax, simple syntax. You need to simply type user dot email. Very easily you can convert your set variables into your name formula. Let's say you want to define rate of interest. Rate of interest is equal to 0 0.08. Let's say. Uh, let's say I want to define one more thing for theme button color where theme button color is equal to color dot allies blue right so I can define everything here now let's say for an example sometimes we need some sort of value from our data source let's say i have one leave application system and i need the last submitted leaves id then uh, let's say for an example whenever the new item is added i just want to update that value uh, with the latest id then i can define that as well variable last form id is equal to we can just simply use last we can just use our SharePoint list. So here I already connected my leaves list. So I'm just using leaves. And from there, uh, I can I can just store the last value over here. Okay. Now, if I want to use this value anywhere on my page, what I need to do here is like, let's say this is my page. Now I just need to add one sort of label over here. So I am adding one text label. Let's say I need user email. So I'm just using user email. And that is looking like this, right? Now the question arise in our mind that when this formula is evaluating. So this is evaluating only when this formula is to be called until and unless it is never called, which means it improves your app performance as well. Let's say on this screen, I used only one of the variable. So this three variable didn't start calculating the stuff for it. It is only called whenever the screen is visible and you have used that formula. Now let's say for an example, let me give you one more advantage. So over here, you can see that I'm adding one more label and I'm just printing rate of interest. So rate of interest okay so you can see that rate of interest is showing as 0 0.08 now let's say for an example in case of variables if you want to update the value basically after on start what you are doing is you are using set or update context to update that variable but in this case let's say if something is updated on the fly it is changing right you don't need to define it again and again let me give you one more example related to it so let's say for an example, here I have one more SharePoint list. Okay. And now what I want to do here is let me just print out one of the variable over here. So over here, I'm just printing last. So this is variable we defined, which is last form ID. So let me just add this last form ID over here. So let's see what it is showing at this moment. It is showing me last form ID dot ID. I need the ID value. Okay. So last form ID is eight, let's say, okay. Now let's say for an example, it should show the latest value. So now let's say I'm adding one more value over here, like vacation for Diwali. And I'm just adding this value into my database. And as soon as the data source value is updated it immediately shows that reflection to me over here you can see clearly see the you can clearly see the difference let's say if you are using traditional variable then what you need to define is on the success you need to update your variable with the latest submitted id and then you can use that stuff over here but in this case it is directly referencing from your 
database okay so whenever the dependencies are updated so here the dependency is the sharepoint list so whenever it is updated it is always showing you the latest refreshable data right so this is amazing also you can use the similar thing for your uh, formatting as well so let's say i am adding one sort of button here on my screen and let's say i just want to, to define some color property so over here uh, let me just go to the fill property and on the this variable we define where theme button color so let's just use where theme button color and it just shows me allies blue color and let's say if i am going here and updating the value color dot yellow then it is immediately reflecting see so you don't need to right click and uh, run again the app on start as soon as your dependency is updated the values are updated automatically here right so these are the different example now let me conclude the overall advantages of using the name formula the first thing is that name formula value is always available which means that you don't need to wait for apps on start to be executed or any buttons click it is on the fly show you the result second advantage is, is the formulas values are always up to date we have seen that with the help of example like forms latest value as well as let's say if we are changing any static value from the variable it is on the fly available the third important advantage is that the formulas definition is immutable which means that it is called only when we are using it so let's say on this page only we are using these two variables only at that time it start evaluating the execution apart from that it will never do any sort of calculation and it will never load extra thing for your app the fourth important advantage is is linked to the third one which is formulas calculation can be deferred which means that it only start calculating the value only when we are using it and this is the overall concept of excel's name formula so that's it for the name formula hope you find this video helpful if so please hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultation this is the website link you can directly send your query over there if you like to follow me on my twitter instagram and other social media handle all the links are available on the right side of the channel cover home page with this this is dravin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye